What up, folks? I'm Alex Pop, and this is episode two of The Road to LBT 14. If you're just joining us, this is a new channel that I'm dedicating to all things Land Before Time, and we are currently getting set for the upcoming The Land Before Time 14 Journey of the Brave. By the way, a uh, special shout out to everyone who liked my last video on what to do with Petrie. I gotta be honest, I was, I was a little worried about that one because I kind of started to get the feeling that I was being too sentimental in it, but seems a lot of you really liked it, so I'm really grateful for that. So, on to the subscriber shoutouts, as always. So to those of you who have subscribed since my last video, here are your numbers. Okay, we're starting at number 32. Number 32 is Bud Charles, and uh, by the way, uh, thanks for the discussions we had on my first video on my pop culture channel. Thanks, Bud. Um, Anne Henny, you are number 33. Jurassic World, you're number 34. It's great to know that I'm earning the viewership of the number one blockbuster of the summer. Ethan Page, you're number 35. Joseph Stevens, you're number 36. Number 37 is a very good friend of mine uh, from work. Her name is Brittany Reed. So thanks a lot for subscribing, Brittany. And also, uh, I apologize if this is a day late, but happy birthday. You're number 37. Number 38 is Daniel Thibodeau, or Thibodeux, whatever it is. Um, you're number 38. And last but not least, number 39 is Land Before Time, My Childhood. Well, sounds like a really enthusiastic fan to me. So, thank you all very much for uh, joining me. I'm really glad to have you all here. So, in this video, I'll be giving a full response to a comment I got a few weeks ago from Mr. Chomper4, who asked me about the possibility of two additions to the Land Before Time franchise. The first of these is a second season in the TV series. The first season aired back in 2007 and 2008, at the time when the last two movies, The Great Day of the Flyers and The Wisdom of Friends, were being released. However, the DVD sales for The Wisdom of Friends were considerably low, and the reception negative compared to that of its predecessors. This brought the series to its hiatus. Now that it's back, and we're getting a new movie this winter, could we get a Season 2 in the TV series? I think it's very possible, but I think it may have to do with how successful the new movie is. Nothing has happened in eight years, so it would be wise to start by treading lightly and see what the response is before proceeding with more additions. So let's say that The Land Before Time 14 Journey of the Brave is successful, and Universal releases more movies and TV episodes. This brings me to the second thing that Mr. Chomper 4 asked me about, and that is the possibility of a crossover with the Cartoon Network series Total Drama. I was rather perplexed by this question, and at first I just wrote it off saying, of course that won't happen. But if I do really have viewers who wonder this, then I don't want to make any of you feel dumb. So instead... I'm going to give a thorough explanation on why I don't think a crossover like that would work. The main reason is their difference in tone. The Land Before Time is, well, a, a kid's show, while Total Drama is a comedy show with rather adult humor. And the difference in tone is often due to very different creators. The Land Before Time is owned by Universal Studios, and Total Drama was developed by a Canadian uh, distributor called Fresh TV Incorporated. Plus, they have visibly different animation styles. It's contrasts like these that make The Land Before Time and Total Drama completely incompatible. As a rule of thumb, any two media can't just be slapped together. It's important to consider how compatible they are. Um, let's check out some other crossovers, for example. When I was a kid, I remember seeing a crossover of the Jetsons and the Flintstones. This is a crossover that works because both shows were animated sitcoms, and they were both distributed by Screen Gems and produced by William Hanna and Joseph Barbera. On top of that, 
The scenario is plausible in the context of these, two, of these two shows, because the Jetsons are inventors. So, in the movie, the Jetsons build a time machine, which takes them back to the time in which the Flintstones are living. The Avengers is another crossover that works, because all of the characters are owned by Marvel, and it takes place in a universe where supernatural and or high-tech superheroes exist. So, there are certain criteria that, uh, that two media should meet before they've crossed over with one another. From what I've seen, criteria, those criteria essentially include the same distributor, genre, tone, and visual style. Here are two pairs of movies that, let's say, had the potential of being crossed over with one another. We'll say Tangled and Frozen and The Dark Knight and Fantastic Four. Which would you say is the better pair? Well, if you think about it, Tangled and Frozen are the more compatible because they are both owned by Disney Animation Studios, they are of the animation fairy tale genre, and they have the same tone and animation. So a crossover with Tangled and Frozen seems easily doable. And that's aside from the fact that this happened. The Dark Knight and Fantastic Four don't go very well together at all. While they both may be of the superhero genre, they don't have very much the same visual style. Plus, The Dark Knight is owned by Warner Brothers and is based off of a DC comic, while Fantastic Four is owned by 20th Century Fox and is based off of a Marvel comic. Also, the tone of The Dark Knight is unmistakably dark and disturbing, while that of Fantastic Four is more silly and cartoony. So in my mind, that all is what makes two media eligible for conjoining. So me, you may be asking, is there anything that I think could make a good crossover with The Land Before Time? Well, I'm going to have to say no to that. If if there absolutely had <clears throat> if there absolutely had to be a franchise that was combined with the land before time, the only one that I'd be the least bit open to would be an American tale, because like I said before, it shares the same studio, tone, animation, and even in the cases of movies three and four, the same music at times. But even then, Fievel the Mouse would have to discover a time machine or something that took him to the Great Valley millions of years earlier. And if, if that was to happen, it might just feel a little too weird. So, in the end, I really think that The Land Before Time should just remain in its own universe. Still, it is fun to imagine Littlefoot and his friends meeting other popular characters in movies. We do see obscure crossovers in fan fiction and whatnot. And as long as I know that it's not canon, I do enjoy imagining that. Um, in fact, I would like to share with you guys a channel called Why Are You 17? He or she creates many crossovers of nostalgic classics, um, most of which are The Land Before Time. He or she does this by editing in clips from The Land Before Time series into another full movie, giving the illusion that Littlefoot and the gang are interacting with other characters. It delivers a really odd sense of amusement and entertainment. I'll add a link to that channel in the description below. Uh, there have been two full movies made so far, and they are Littlefoot's Adventures of the Goonies and Littlefoot's Adventures of Aladdin. The YouTube channel itself mostly just contains the trailers, but the full movies themselves are on Google Drive. I'll add a link to that as well. And it looks like the one that combines The Land Before Time and The Lion King is almost finished, and is coming in September, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out. So, yeah, I definitely recommend checking the channel out. So, bottom line, I like to imagine The Land Before Time crossing over with something else, but as far as the actual canon goes, I think it should stay by itself. Uh, that's a wrap for now on the road to LBT14. If you love The Land Before Time, and this is the place to be, you can subscribe for future videos. I do have a lot planned as of right now. This is the currently untitled Land Before Time channel, and I'm your host, Alex Pop. Catch you later.